All right, guys. Welcome to the seventh ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly, Low Key? Yo, it's John. Got what John up? here with me. Got Jay here with me, man. Yo. We supposed to have Joe here with me, man, but uh, you know he's in our mind and in our hearts, bro. Seriously. But um, yeah, man, we're back with another episode. Uh, we appreciate everybody that's rocking with us. Everybody that's coming back and you know supporting us again. Everybody that's coming for the first time. We appreciate everybody that's subscribed. Everybody that's you know commenting and. You know, just vibing with us, man. We really yeah. appreciate it, bro. Just vibing. But yeah, you already know what we do, man. We we got some rolled up, you know. So uh, roll your blunt, roll your J, pack your bong, pack your bowl. And let's get to it, man. Get your torches ready for those dabbers out there. Salute to y'all, man. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's on another level, I bro. Doing, I don't be doing that Fuck too much. That. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit too much. For real. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're back with another episode. And um, we got a couple things to talk about. There's some There's some stuff that... You know, you guys probably heard of already. There's stuff that you probably haven't, but we're just here to vibe and, and just talk about it. So, uh, yeah. jumping right into it, one of the things I wanted to talk about was um, the six nine situation, man. Um, I know a lot of people probably already talked about it. A lot of people already, you know, they're probably burnt out on the whole six nine situation. But I just wanted to touch base on it because there's a lot of things you can learn from it. There's a lot of life lessons that you can learn and apply to your life just by looking from the outside in. You know. Facts. And um, one of the things is, one of the main things is, if you're not in the streets, if you weren't born into a gang, if you're, you know, if you just weren't born into that life, there is absolutely no reason why you should want to get into that life. It doesn't bring anything, man. It's it, it's all a ball of negativity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, they, they look cool and balled out for a year. A year, bro. Is that worth your, the next 47 years of your life? To ball out for a year, bro? Nah. You know what I mean? That's 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 too short. <laughs> Listen, five <laughs> years is too short. <laughs> five, balling out for five years straight, that's too short that's to spend short. the next 40 years in fucking prison, bro. Yeah. That's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. And and the sad thing is that there's, you know, I got nieces and nephews, you know, they're, they're a certain age. They're at an age where they're impressionable. And it just bothers me the fact that a lot of these kids look up to, to what he's doing, man. They look up to to the fact that he's snitching and, and you know. They think it's okay. Yeah, they think yeah, it's yeah. okay. They're like, well, what would you have done? I wouldn't have put myself in that situation. Yep. That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have let myself let it get that far. Yeah. Like, it's very simple. Like, but it, there's other things that come with it. That's where, you know, like, just wanting to build an image that isn't you turns yeah. bad. You yeah, know, because people will find out eventually. Usually, when people lie, you know, eventually the truth will come out. You know, the light will show. That's a fact. Like Jay said earlier, yeah, bro, yeah, everything done in the Jay. dark is gonna come to light, bro. So that's true. That's true. But it, there's so many things, man. Like, if you're not in the streets, don't get in the streets. If you are in the streets, don't, don't let people into your or your street organization that aren't about that life. Because yeah. ultimately, man, it, it's it's. It's the guy's fault, bro. They saw it as an opportunity to extort a person that's making a lot of money. They saw nothing but the good side of it. You know, they're like, oh, this kid's, you know, he's a pussy. We, you know, we could extort him. He's going to be paying for protection, this and that. But they didn't see the flip side of this happening. Yeah. And if they did, they they didn't pre-plan for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So ultimately, it's their fault, bro. Like, it, it's their fault that, that it's happening. But what he's doing isn't right. And, and you know... Apparently he's doing okay because supposedly he got a ten million dollar deal, but I mean, I yeah, yeah, I yeah pay facts. Too, I, I need to see that on black and white. But yeah. Yeah, even then, true. bro, I I don't know. My opinion is I think he's gonna be able to come out and be fine. His core fan base wasn't street niggas to begin with. His core fan base wasn't wasn't the people in the hood, bro. I'm telling you, no. How many niggas in the hood you know was bumping six nine like that? Nah, not not many that I know. Not many. It was all, you know, no offense to everybody out there, but it was all the little 12, 13-year-old white kids Yeah. that, you know, yeah. that were supporting him. So that's his fan base. That's going to be his fan base when he comes back home, and they don't feel like he did anything wrong. So the saddest part about this is, is that this kid got multiple people indicted, got multiple people taken away from the family for the next decade or more, and he's going to come out and be straight, bro. He's going to come out and be straight. And that's that. That's the craziest part about all of this, you know. Like, but yeah, bro. It's just 
Yeah, Stay that, out of the streets, that, man. No, that's 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 yeah, that's kind of crazy. Stay out of the streets, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. That's too much. Most of these dudes ain't for you. Nah, Most of these real. dudes ain't. Just, they don't have your best interests at heart, honestly. Bro. Just stick to yourself. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Like, stick to the people that you trust. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that's really important because you know the people could just turn on you, man. You know what I mean? They'll just turn on you. The people that you call your friends, the people that. You know, you, you feed them, you know, you let them in your household, you know, around your family. Like, that's big. That's And people just turn around just, you know, they'll just turn around and just backstab you. Yeah, man. It's, it's crazy. It's sad how people, they'll turn they'll turn on you over the, the dumbest shit, bro. They'll turn on you over a piece of paper, my nigga. Yeah, for money. Yeah. A piece of paper, bro. It's sad, man. It's sad, but it, it's something that. Once you go through it, you're glad you went through it because it taught you a lesson. You know what I mean? Because usually, it, it, bro, I say this shit all the time. Your enemy can't backstab <laughs> you. They're not close enough to stab you in the back. It's it's always somebody next to you, bro. It's always somebody close to you. Somebody close. That somebody, tries you. Yeah, you know somebody I mean? comfortable. Yeah, like Real they get comfortable. too comfortable yeah. and they feel like, oh, the, whatever. They take your kindness for weakness or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's usually what it is. People take people's kindness for weakness. weakness. And that's not something you should ever do, bro, because... That's sad, man. That's not something you should ever do. And these people kill. Yeah, man. That's a fact. A lot of things get people killed, bro. Like what we were just talking about, pride. Yeah. Pride (laughs) pride gets people killed. Pride gets people sent to prison for life. Like, think about the fact that there's somebody right now spending the rest of their life in prison because somebody told them to suck their dick. You feel me? Like, something so small. Niggas like, suck my dick. And Jit went off, and now he's in prison for the rest of his life. Because of, of three words. Suck my dick. Bro, that's not... Three words. Temper, that's what I'm saying. But that, And the thing is, is the mentality of certain certain demographics, bro. Because you say that, you go to Calabasas and tell somebody to suck your dick, they'll be like, yo, security, get this motherfucker out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but go to, go to Bronx, New York, and tell a nigga to suck your dick in the middle of the street. That might be where you lay. And that, real talk, that might be where you lay, bro. Like, you might get stabbed. Man, bro, a lot of people don't take that lightly, bro. You heard about, uh, <laughs> hey, you heard about, <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. yo, uh, you heard about that, um, uh, that kid, man, from the Bronx. What was his name, Junior? They finally, you know, they, Junior, hey, man, rest in peace to Junior, man. Facts. That's yeah. great. That, bro, they finally that's got, definitely... they all got life or death or something like that. Now, they got, like, they there got... was five life sentences handed out, five, which, in my opinion, should have been death. That's some gang shit. And that's another, that's, a, that ties up, that ties up with your story right there with, with another gang related story. People that's supposed to have each other's backs. You know what I mean? There's and, no loyalty in that shit, bro. Wasn't that mistaken? And it was a mistake. And that's the thing about it. It was a mistaken identity. But, bro, at some point, you got to notice, man. I'm sorry. Like, if you really have beef with somebody, how do you not know? You know what I'm saying? Like, how you have beef with somebody and not know, like, who it is at the moment? Like, come on, bro. That makes no sense. You need a a really good picture or a really good identification of who the fuck you're trying to kill. Bro. And the thing is, people wonder why there's 15-year-olds out here walking around with guns on them. I don't blame him, bro. That kid was 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? He, if he would have had a gun on him, he might have been here today. It might have looked crazy because, like, yo, what's a 15-year-old doing walking around with a gun? But, bro, like, he might have been here today. They macheted him to death. Bro, they butchered that man, bro. He ran, though. He ran. He made, he made a couple blocks. Or he made, he made a while. Like, he was almost there. He was almost there. You can't even go to jail with respect and try to be hard in jail. That's a fact. Nah, nah. Facts. It took four of y'all niggas to kill a fifteen-year-old. So Big whoop, fucking whoop. Bro. Come on. You got no respect. They're gonna get what's theirs in jail. I believe that. There's yeah, I believe that too, bro. I believe that too. I believe that. What comes around goes around. Period, bro. But yeah, you don't get, you don't get no respect for shit like that in, in nah. prison, bro. Like. At least not from from the dudes that I know that went to prison. They're not with that, bro. They're not with that. Like, you get your ass fucked up in there real quick for certain crimes, bro. For real. The CEOs tell. The CEOs tell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you're dead just because you might have made the wrong choice in life. Facts. You're a bad person, like that. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Dead ass. You got a little girl like, oh, you know. And that's that's the thing, man. Like, 
Most people don't think like that, bro. They're not. They don't have empathy. Yeah. Like they don't put themselves in other people's shoes and think about how that person would feel or no. how it could affect somebody else, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh, they have for that, sure. They're non emotional. They don't see humans as humans. They see you as a non. Like, that's why they can kill you easily. Like, yeah, because wow. there's not that connection. Yeah, there's not that human connection. Man. Like, I see you, you know, I, I appreciate your life. You're a person, you know, you're a living thing. Yeah. They don't see you like that. They're just like, oh, like you getting chicken. Like, ah. Right. No, nah, that's, yeah, that's ridiculous. That's, that's wild, man. But yeah, man, R.I.P. to uh, Junior, man. You yeah, know, R.I.P. to Junior, man. That, Seriously. Those guys got what they deserved. Yeah, and, um, I hope they rot. And I actually, hope they get... in my opinion, not to sound fucked up, but that's just my opinion. I don't think they got what they deserve because they're still alive and they still have a chance. They're still breathing. Junior ain't breathing. He's never he's never gonna have a chance to do nothing else. So, yeah, man, uh, they got off light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, they got off light. Yeah, I'm smoking one for you, man. You yeah, facts. Me, so. This one's for you, Junior. Yeah, Real yeah. talk. Real talk. So, hey, man. But yeah, man, that's that's kind of a sad topic. But you know, there's, there's a couple of crazy things that's been going on too. Um, you know, with Florida, man, I was looking at the news the other day, and there was like a petition that was shared from one of my boys, and they were just talking about how, you know, Nestle, whatever, Nestle, Nestle. I'm sorry, I can't even pronounce. You guys, nah, are, you guys sure. are ass. <laughs> Fuck Nestle. Yeah, though. you guys but, are ass. Yeah. I can't even say you, you guys' name right. But anyways, fucking, I'm looking down. And I see, and there's, look, these guys are trying to take 1.1 million gallons of water a day from springs, from the springs of Guinea Springs in Florida. That's ridiculous. They're, they're, yeah, supposedly they already got a permit. It's already approved by the county. Hey, Nestle, get the fuck That's money. out of here. That's, no, money. that's all it is. It's all politics and it's all money. They're going to get it. They're yeah. going to get Honestly, I don't feel yeah. like that petition is going to do much, if anything at all. It's all money, bro. It's all politics. It's like 5G. <laughs> yo, that's a million. That's a million. Yeah. Yo, that's a million gallons a day. Yeah, it's like a million point, like one point one million do- gallons a day that they're trying to take out of the springs. Hey, Nestle, why don't you stay where the fuck you're at, or go somewhere else? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, oh, you gotta come to Florida and fuck some shit up. Because you guys don't really notice the springs. Everybody that comes to Florida, they just think of Orlando. Like okay, they go to Disney, Disney, bro. Disney, and that's it. In Miami, Disney, Universal and, Studios, you know? Miami, and that's it. But there's a lot of more things like in between that. Like I've seen a lot of beautiful springs, like the waters, and it's kind of polluted too. Like I go around, I went around, and I was picking up trash the other day with my boy. You know, shout out Sway. Shout out to Sway. And, you know, he was helping me. We were picking up trash, man. Like, a whole bag of trash at a place where people are supposed to be, like, taken care of. Like, it's a park. And you got trash all over the floor. Like, nah, I can't respect that, man. People don't know how to take care of what, what takes care of them a lot of the times, bro. You know? And that that's, that's sad, bro. Because the earth takes care of us, bro. Without the springs without without the springs and the trees in the springs and all that, that whole ecosystem... Our air wouldn't be as fresh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like we, there's a lot of things that 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 come into play when it comes to like an ecosystem, bro. We could all be self-sufficient if we wanted to. Yeah, yeah that's how it's meant to be, bro. Like we could, we could all just survive off the land. We could. People did it for centuries. Right. Bro. Yeah. You know, we but it's a system that we're now. we were tricked into the system that we live in, where it's like you need the money, you need the better job, you need the new car, you, you need this. Paycheck, bro, you become dependent on that. Yeah, man. Right? And then you need that from your master to give you that paycheck every time. So you can, because you're dependent, you need to pay rent, you got car payment. You know, and then you're just like, I can't quit my job and, you know, go crazy. Yeah, right. You know? This is definitely dope talk TV. This is like <laughs> everywhere. Edit shit out. Facts. But now, nah, yeah. No, nah, that's, that's, that's just ridiculous, man. So, I don't know. I just feel like we need to start taking care of our springs. We need to start doing a lot more. Like, at least stop throwing shit out the window, man. Yeah, man. You know, I used to be that guy. Don't litter. I don't. Yeah. I used to be I that. that yeah. In New York, you don't really see that too much in our state. You know, in country. Nah, they mm. do it down. They do it over but here. I've seen that on the highway. I've been behind somebody. They don't like yeah, the they, they don't yeah. care. Yeah. Bro, they'll throw a whole McDonald's bag. Yeah. And you hit the floor. It's like, boom. <laughs> the fucking the leftover fries and shit. Like, yo, y'all for real, my nigga? Like, y'all could have. Yo, I hate people like that. Like, I feel like I just want to, like. Just bash my car into your car. Like, <laughs> you know, nah, for real. That, that, yeah. That's like a terroristic threat. Uh, what, to hit somebody's uh, car with your car? Boy, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Nah, yo, that's... Yeah, that's... That crowd with his car. People be using cars now, like in the UK, you know, guns are illegal in the UK. So it's cars and knives, baby. <laughs> Boy, hey. Careful. You don't need it. You don't need a gun. And... No, I don't think that, you, that guns are going <coughs> to... In New York, in New York, is it legal to have a gun? Dude, if you got a non-register firearm, it's like a minimum of like five years. Yeah, facts. Holy shit. Yeah, it, bro, there's a lot of states that are crazy. I know in California... Yeah, in California, if you I have, like, a magazine that's 10 rounds or over, bro, they could charge you per bullet, like, an attempt to murder per bullet. That's crazy. There's some crazy laws out there, bro. That's why I'm glad I live in Florida, dog. Yeah. I need real. my guns. I love my guns, nigga. Facts. Fuck that. Yeah, like, that's true. Yeah, nah, but that shit is it's crazy. And it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to actually get your gun license in New York, too, bro. Yo, the gun Yeah, that's you a fact. Street, man. And you can get access to a gun. Yeah. So at the end of the day, they need to fix that their mental health care system and help people. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. That you know what? That's a great fucking topic, that's a bro. Great, yeah. That's a great topic. Seriously. The mental health crisis in this country is ridiculous. Like, we have the most suicide. We have the most like homicides. The it's because most because the drugs too that they're giving them and prescribing them. Nah, I think it's further than the drugs. I think it's something that that's in our system. There's something that in the, in our programming and our news there's something there's going something on that they're man. teaching us that's bro, wrong the, the government put crack in the streets in, in la bro to fund the contra movement remember contra yeah movement? facts to overthrow venezuela mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's what they and use it the for crack epidemic blew up and what they do start locking up minorities because that's what they put it at they flooded the streets yeah they flooded the streets with crack it, bro la got flooded with crack and they got flooded with with fully automatic guns and then what happened yeah. Gave it to you. Right. To fund yeah, that was that was the the Rick, uh, freeway Rick Ross story, man. No. Free uh, Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross. That um that man one, that yeah. man went through it. He he found out later on after a bunch of years that the money, his money that he was given to his plug was being funded for for guerrilla warfare. Yeah. That was, like Gosh. think about that. Like, you're serving or whatever, and then you're giving your money, you're up with your plug, but all the money you're giving your plug is being used to kill people. And nah. you don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, bro. It, it's a fucked up world, bro. Yeah. Hey, you don't know what you only see and hear what you want, what they want you to do at the end of the day. That's a fact. Because when somebody's big enough to control every media outlet in the world, bro. And then they don't, they don't declassify shit, man. Mm -hmm. Like, things will stay hidden for years, bro. Years. They yeah. have dates on it. Like, this file. Yeah, this file could be released in 20, yeah. 2097. Yeah. And you're like, damn, nigga, everybody's going to be dead. Like, who the fuck? <laughs> people, <laughs> are not even gonna, people are not even going to remember like, nobody's that Nobody's going to give yeah. a fuck about that by then. Like, Seriously. The JFK file, they're supposed to be releasing. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be open. But the thing is, the guy also said they can extend that shit. Like, yeah, of course, man. It's the government, bro. They make up laws as they yeah. go. They make up laws as they go. Bro. Yeah. yeah. What, ha again, what, again, what happened? What happened the first time? What happened the first yeah, time? Yeah, what happened we were with the area? We were trying to get the area. Like 50? 50? Damn. Know, like 50, that shit weak. That's wild. Hey, yo, if, if y'all trying to start a movement, 50 niggas. That's crazy. More niggas show up for Beecham than that. <laughs> <laughs> the line at Beecham was longer than yo, that, but y'all gotta get yo, right. For the clothes, bro, the lines be like around the, the block. Sometimes, yeah, bro. That shit skip, crazy. I've skipping the lines, man. Yeah, shout out to Ness. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to yeah, Ness, because yeah, the nigga ain't waiting in no yeah, fucking line. Yeah, I don't... A thousand five hundred people showed up. A thousand five hundred? Oh, that's significant, that bro. Was, that was decent. That's decent. a lot of fucking people, actually. That's for it to amount. have been like a little meme. But 150 people traveled within sight of Area 51 gates, and about 75 actually approached the gates Friday morning. See, but that's the problem. If you're going to have a movement, you got to have more than 75 motherfuckers because they would have blown them motherfuckers down in two seconds. That's what happened with Takashi. Everybody was real and slowly they started falling apart. So they got to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 100 yards away, niggas was like... <laughs> yo, but I don't yo, know, bro. Yo, yo, but shout but out yo, to Bobby. What about Bobby Smyrna? 
Bro. We didn't talk about that. What's yeah, it? that's like, right. Everybody... We talked about Takashi. Fuck it, Takashi, yeah, man. Yeah. Fuck it, Takashi. Bobby, bring your ass home. We waiting, bro. We waiting for that. For that. You Yo, know, Bobby. Hot boy shit. Yo, that's crazy, man. Because everybody want to talk about how, you know, Takashi this, Takashi that. What are we going to do for people that actually, you know, hold it down? Hold it. Exactly. Yeah, you know honest, what I'm saying? There's 620 days and 12 hours until Bobby Schmurter is released from prison. Look 620 look days look until Bobby is released from prison. Look at that. Yo, counting. shout out to Bobby. Yo. You're right, John. We got to start giving more credit where credit is due because yeah, like, all these motherfuckers that be snitching and twitching and bitching online be they get all make the it, you know, they get all the fucking publicity. But the dudes that hold it down and actually stay 10 times down, yeah. nobody talks about them. Like nobody, man. Two years to his prison sentence so his boy can get his release. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact, bro. That yeah. bro, Listen, man, that, that, that right there says volumes about a person. When you're willing to take two extra years on your prison sentence for your boy to take get some less yeah. time, that that's, that's real, real love, bro. That's real, that's real love, yeah. bro. Because you didn't you didn't have to do that, man. You could have been know. out there. You could have been out by now making millions of dollars. You know, literally, he could have been out right now. Yeah, making millions of dollars. But guess what? That blessing is gonna come tenfold, bro. Yeah. Take and take care, Oof. man. Got like 50 years. Take care. Got fifty five years not, that's in not even prison. Fun. It's not funny, but you know what? It's not funny at all, bro. See, but that's the thing, man. Yeah. People look at the videos and the music, and they're like, oh, that's cool. It's a clout. Oh, the race. Yeah, the race. Yo, guess what? That race got that nigga 55 years. He's going to be 74 when he gets out. 74 year old man when you get out. 74 when he gets out? And he's on another murder trial. He has another murder trial coming up. Wow. So he might get another 20, 30. Who knows? For 23 years, 24, man. That's Who knows? Cool. Oh. Add it on top of your fifty five because you took it to trial, bro. See, that's the that's the way the feds work. See, when you when you just plea out and you're like, you know what, I did it. Give me my time. Don't, yeah, they'll, they'll they'll sit there and they'll be like, you know what, we'll give we'll give you twenty five years. When you sit here and you fight them and tell them, nah, I'm taking it to trial, and you waste their time knowing you're guilty and knowing they're still gonna ban you. That's when they give you the fifty five, sixty years. Because that, that facts. Because uh, you know what, you wasted our time. You, this could have been over a year ago. But since you want to drag this out, oh, we'll tell you what we're going to drag out. This damn prison sentence. I'm telling you, man. They be adding shit quick. Like, That's crazy. Like, they give you like, oh, 15 years. You're like, damn, man. They're like, oh, you said, well, excuse me? You said, damn, man? You know what? That's obstruction. Fact. That is obstruction. Obstruction of the five court. Years. Extra five years. Five more. <laughs> That's wild, man. You want to talk about a lot of years, man? There's another th- there's a there's a story I saw on Facebook, man. I was telling you guys about <laughs> it's about this dog, man. <laughs> look at this dog, bro. Look how old this shit hey, looks. Yo, look, look how old this shit That nigga is fucking Yo, he's old. Yeah, he's he about tell. a cro- he's about a croak over, dog. All right. So, dog's been missing for 12 years. It was actually reunited with owner after being found 1100 miles away. Bro. Yeah, that shit is crazy, dog. Right? No if, if dogs could talk, Dutchess would have quite the story to tell. Dutchess would I be like, you. fuck all y'all niggas. <laughs> it was in Florida. Yeah, that was, it was one of the... Yeah, it's, oh it's a local God. story. So, I don't know. I mean, it was reunited after 12 years. Why so long? Why so long? It said it was, it was founded by the chip, but... They had a chip on the dog and waited 12 years to go get it. They bullshit. Yeah, they didn't want that dog. They didn't want the fucking dog. That's if Dutchess could talk, he'd be like, fuck y'all niggas. Y'all could have came and got me 12 years ago when you first saw the chip go what? beeping on your phone. Why did he survive for 12 years? 12? Now, he had that bit picked I've up. I've had dogs for 14. He survived a little longer than my kids have been alive. I have. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have had dogs. Yo, you remember Goofy? I've had dogs for 14, the Yorkie. Yeah, man. Yeah, but, my... I mean, he was living on the streets. Was it, how did he survive? In the, like, was he taken care of by people? That's <laughs> what I mean. I'm pretty sure, bro, I'm pretty sure he had multiple homes. And then, like, yeah, when he just right. fought, he just like, yo, I'm out. Yeah. I'm going to just run away. Yeah, again. He has kids out there, bro. <laughs> oh, he has mad kids out no, there. 1,100 no. miles and no pussy? Nah, that, don't, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. That's, That's crazy, bro. Shout out to Kathy. <laughs> That's wild, man. Bro, that shit's hilarious, though. But yeah, those owners didn't want that dog. Mm-hmm. There's no way. There's no way. No, he's kind of cute. He looks like a bat. Oh, 
long have we been recording? Too long. 25 minutes. Okay. That's actually really good. Okay. Yeah, right. man. Um, so, but yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that's been going on, you know. I'm still smoking. I'm about to light up another blunt. Yeah, fact, man. We're just chilling, man. Uh, we're, man. Listen, listen, guys. We're not a news station. We're not coming to y'all with, like, all these lyrical, miracle breakdowns of shit. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Facts. We just giving our opinions, and that's it, man. We, we just vibing, man. We're vibing. But I'm so glad that fall's coming in, y'all. Like, I'm so glad this damn heat is going away. I love to smoke in this type of weather, oh, man. This is the best weather to smoke in, bro. And to Fact. have sex, man. Yeah, man. That cuddle up weather, that bro. That cuddle up. You know, you, you chilling, vibing. It's nice weather. Yeah, how about that fire extinguisher challenge, eh? <laughs> Come on, boy. Yo. Oh. This- <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't doing that. Yo, I think he's going down. Yo, that's bad, bro. Yo, yo. You know that? You know that a fire, the fire extinguisher, like that white shit inside, like it's made to like take out oxygen. Like it's made to like. Nah, see that's, that's yeah, bro. You're trying to kill yourself. I think this is wild. Yo, people do anything for clout, bro. People do anything to like just be seen for ten seconds on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah. Also became something that just gives people the access to put stupid, senseless shit. Like, let's get, let's have a 12 year old disabled girl getting beat up by five other girls and put it on there for people's entertainment and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. So they can get a good, oh, and they can get their opinions out on that shit and they can argue. And, like, bro, that's that girl. That's some of like, Yeah. Mentally, yeah. So, you know. Now, nah, see, but that's the thing. It, there's real life and then there's social media. And in real life, you're gonna have to see your karma. Yeah, you might get a couple hundred thousand likes. You might, you know, you might get a a couple views. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, you're gonna have to see that karma coming your way, man. Like, yeah, like yeah. that shit ain't cool, bro. Because I'm gonna tell you what, like, I don't know, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you how to react if that was my daughter. If I see my my mentally disabled daughter getting beat up by five other girls. Yeah, that are actually there and know what they're doing and know my daughter's disabled. Like I don't, I wouldn't know how to react, man. At that point in time, it's like, whatever happens, happens, and it's that's the reaction to that to the action. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? From like a parents' point of view, you can never underestimate. You heard the stories. Everybody heard the story of the mom lifting a car off a kid. Yeah. Because they're the John. Yeah. Major, like her mom fighting five grown ass men. Yeah, bro. Because their kids in the house. Like, yeah. Can't Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's like a grizzly bear. What do you see, Tate? It's a grizzly bear. That's what I imagine. It's like, like a, mama a grizzly bear. bear. Yo, you know, no, listen. You see the Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio? Nah. The part where he gets attacked by the bear? <laughs> Yo, I don't even... You know that scar? Me, I had name is. As a grown man. I had name is. You gotta watch that. Yo, imagine getting hit by, like, a moose. Or, like, getting attacked <laughs> by something like that. Yo. Like, something that massive. <laughs> But I, I don't know. <laughs> we got to start wrapping it up, though. Cause it's, yeah, you know, for we, real, man. Hey, look. That, we gotta... appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all rocking with us yeah. for the seventh episode, man. It's been yours truly low-key. It's John Jay in the building, man. And we hope to bring y'all a lot more of these. Hopefully with Jay. Hopefully next time we could get uh, Gio in the building, man, we're too. Actually, we're actually upgrading. I ordered a couple more mics. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we're so, going to start having guests and whatnot. So We're going to get everybody on this show, man. That, you know, if we feel like we got, you got some type of potential, you know, we're, or some type of talent and we see it, right. you know, man, we, we'll put you on the show for sure, man. And Facts. We're, we're going to start having some merchandise as well. Uh, you know, jackets and pants and joggers yes. and hoodie season's you know, coming up, so you know the hoodies and the joggers is coming for sure. We're getting it for, for sure. sure. So, yeah, interesting stories. Yeah, 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 we got we got a lot know. of different stories, man. And shit, you already know. But yeah, yeah it's, it's been yours truly, low key, man. Facts. We, we out this it. bitch. You're. <laughs>